You ever have difficulty hitting out of a fairway bunker? Today I'll give you the recipe how to consistently set up to execute and escape the fairway bunkers. We have three L's we always assume when we step into the bunker. The first would be the lie of the ball to see what type of club we can use out of it. Next, next shot would be the lip, the height of the lip. We can determine the height of the lip or the trajectory of the club by simply stepping on the golf club, seeing the launch angle of this golf club. And the final is the, the length of the shot. How far do we need to go? You need to be realistic. If you have 250 yards to go out, have a recovery shot, hit it back in the fairway, and take your medicine. So if we adhere to those, then we can have a better routine of creating a successful shot. Basically, we run through the routine. Routine is the critical thing of being consistent in playing the shot. We're going to grip down. By gripping down, we can shorten the length of the arm, the shaft. By playing the ball back, that will help us create a condition of a thin shot. And the last item is we're going to wedge our right, dig the toe of our left. From this setup conditions, we're going to be able to hit a thin golf shot, stabilize our lower body to make a three-quarter golf swing. So I simply run through my routine. I would grip down, ball back, wedge the right, dig the toe. Now I'm set up in a condition where I can execute the shot. If you adhere to the three L's and the, the recipe for the successful shot, you'll be able to hit the shot consistently every time.